He looks up, startled, to see Dorothea and the others staring back. Uh, sorry, I zoned out a little back there. Yo, Gardner, where have you been? I've been uh, teaching, middle school band. Uh, but on the weekends, I've got a suit. I, uh... Get a suit, Teach, a good suit. Back here tonight, first show is at nine, sound checks at seven. We'll see how you do. Now, Joe exits the half note. Yes! He calls out to passersby. You know what they're gonna say? Joe Gardner! He walks with his phone to his ear, oblivious to his surroundings. He narrowly avoids falling bricks at a construction site. Just don't tell my mom about this. On a sidewalk, he passes banana peels and nails on the pavement and flinches from a barking dog onto the street. He takes another step and plummets from view down a manhole as his papers flutter in the air. Now, in pitch blackness, Joe's soul falls onto his back. The glowing soul sports a pear-shaped head, glasses, and a fedora. He looks at his hands. He takes a step back and glimpses his strange reflection on the ground. His eyes dart and he blinks. He finds himself atop a gently moving conveyor wave. Nothing holding it up, the ramp glides toward a cluster of bright pinpoints with a brilliant orb at its center. He races back down the ramp toward a trio of smaller glowing souls. Hey! 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 Hello! Oh, hello? Oh, what's your name, honey? Uh, I'm Joe. Joe Gardner. Look, I'm not supposed to be here. Ah, uh, must have been sudden for you. You see, Joe, I'm 106 years old. Been waiting a long time for this. For what? The great beyond. They eye the brilliant orb in the distance. The great beyond? As in, as in beyond life? Yeah, huh? That's death right there? I guess. This beats my dream about the walrus. It's exciting, isn't it? No, 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 no. Listen, I have a date tonight. I can't die now. So what? I really don't think you have a lot to say about this. Yes, yes, I do. I'm not dying the very day I got my shot. I'm due. Heck, I'm overdue. Uh, 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 I, I'm out of here. I don't think you're supposed to go that way. This can happen. I'm not dying today. Not when my life just started. Descending the ramp, Joe turns to find the trio levitating toward the great beyond. They get absorbed within its light. He hurries Wait. past others. I'm not I gotta get back. I don't wanna die. I'm not back. Run! Why aren't you running? I don't know. I'm talking to people. <laughs> he passes more and more glowing souls. Where are my pants? Working his way into the crowd. He gazes back at the great beyond as the people mover glides toward it. He makes his way over his neighbor's heads and leaps and crashes into an invisible barrier. While the barrier glows purple, Joe returns his attention to the great beyond. Joe tears his way through the invisible fabric and plummets into darkness. Disney presents. A Pixar Animation Studios film. From above, he flails around as he plunges into the void. He splashes down through a body of water, his body changing color from luminescent bluish to stark black and white. He shudders, staring through wide eyes as he free falls through more layers, the lights around him appearing like blurry streaks. One by one, concentric lighted squares form. He drops through each. His cool blue glow returns as he falls through the last square. He touches down on soft ground in a blue and purple pastel landscape of dome-shaped hills. Lying on his back in a field of tall grass, he watches the square overhead disappear. He lifts his head, gazing in bewilderment through the blades of blue and purple grass at a handful of otherworldly beings. He spies a crowd of beings gathered at the edge of a large round pit near the hills, topped with oddly-shaped pavilions. Awestruck, he takes it all in. A tall figure, with a body made up only of lines, glances over. Joe ducks. A group of legless beings with round, bald heads and rosy cheeks float over. Several poke him, and one chomps down on his hand. The tall figure glances over, 
she disappears in the ground and reappears closer to the ground. Everyone, this is Amanda to Moon. Sorry. Yeah, so 37, that's enough. Hey, everyone, look here. Hi, Coyote. Hi, Coyote. Who, who are you? I am the coming together of all quantized fields of the universe. Appearing in a form your feeble human brain can comprehend. What? You can call me Jerry. Jerry. Uh, hey, uh, is this happening? <laughs> no. Is it H E double hockey sticks? Hell, hell, The new souls bounce up and down. Hi, Coyote. It's easy to get turned around. This isn't the great beyond, it's the great before. The great before? Oh, we call it the U Seminar now. Rebranding. The new souls.